So today's video, we're getting our paint on. What we're going to do is we're going to paint the crash bar and maybe other stuff, depending on how I feel, in the engine bay. So to paint the crash bar, you have to take the honeycomb grill off and that gives you access to the crash bar. Um, on a normal FR grill where you have the lines, you can see it really good and I think it will show up quite well. With the honeycomb, it might not show up as well. But in the long term, I want to paint it. I think it'll look quite cool. Brad from Wagon UK gave me this idea. I saw on his Instagram he, him doing it. He painted his gold and his black lead, and that looks sick. So I want to paint mine baby blue to go with my brakes and my inlet manifold. So let's go on to it. So first of all, I need to take this grill off. Done. <laughs> um, and then, oh, oh some cobwebs. Right. Get to painting. I think he painted this bit as well, but that's plastic, so maybe he didn't, or maybe he did, but he did it carefully so it didn't drop. Because I think that is aircon, that's it, the air conditioning unit there. But yeah, this is what we're painting this rusty piece of ugly metal here. God, there's cobwebs in there for days. Gross. So I'm just going to give it a, a bit of a wipe down, just to get all the cobwebs and all the gross dirt off. So it gives it a reasonable layer. God, look how hot it is, immediately just evaporating. Yeah, that is just rusty grossness, that is. It's good to see it straight though. At least it's never been crashed. Ah! You know it's bad when you need a whole toolkit just to get into a paint can. Oh, I'd better give it a shake first. I'm hoping it's not too hot because it might react a bit weirdly. And that is the colour we're going. I don't think that's going to work. Oh, yeah, it works. I want to start. Right. Oh, I can't believe I've got paint on. This is why we're not doing it on our drive. Here we go. Here we go. Painty paint. Do a nice thin layer to start with. And we'll add the layers as we go. So what I have found out, after painting both my brakes and this now, which is coming up really well, um, is that it's nowhere near the same colour as my manifold. Um, so I'm going to have to repaint that at some point. Yeah, this is, seems a lot lighter. This is a lot more of a baby blue, but that's more of a, like a sky, sky blue, I'd say. It's quite a lot darker. Yeah, look, there you go. You can see the difference. That's more of a baby blue and that's more of a sky blue. Yeah, it's coming up good. Couple more coats and then getting right into the the end. I think it'll look good. What I like about these sort of mods, well it's not really a modification. I mean I guess it technically is, is that you know anyone can do it, it's nice and easy, you just get a bit of paint, get a paintbrush. You just make the colour look cool. <laughs> it's nice and easy, it doesn't take too long, you just need a, a decent oh god, look at that, it's hot. Let's stir the paint a little bit. You just need a decent day. That's a lot of paint. I don't want all that. Right, so I've painted the front bash bar, now I'm going to paint these plastic bits. Hopefully it sticks reasonably well to them. I think Brad did these as well, and I think it looked really cool. And if you didn't do them, well, I'm going to do them anyway. So hopefully it looks good, and hopefully the paint won't just completely run down. I'm going to do a really thin layer to make sure it doesn't just run down. But we'll see how it goes, wish me luck. So I'm just waiting for this to dry now. I'm going to let it dry with this one coat. Yeah, so waiting for this to dry, and then hopefully we'll put a second coat on it. It is absolutely baking in the sun which might not be necessarily the best way to dry paint. I don't really know. I'm hoping it's not a bad thing, <laughs> but uh, it's definitely gonna dry at least. So yeah, let this dry and then I'll put another two, maybe three coats on. And while that's drying, I'm gonna put the extra layer on this plastic to see how that goes. Right, it's actually coming up surprisingly well. I thought the plastic would be really bad to paint on. But it's actually going, it's going quite well. The only thing I'm obviously being extra careful about is the dripping. But at the moment, this paint is going really well on this plastic and it's covering it really nicely. It's quite fun. I'm quite enjoying this painting in the sun. It's quite lovely. Nice little cider wouldn't go mess. I mean, obviously, if we were home, that would be a bit easier. We've come out because we didn't want to get paint on the drive. Um, which was a good call because immediately poured paint on the drive. Well, on the floor, sorry. So that was a good call. But um, yeah, it's quite nice and calm. Just doing a bit of painting in the sunshine. Can't really complain. 
just appreciating the scenery. Look, imagine painting your car in this lovely, lovely bit of Devonshire scenery. It does smell like cow poo though. And there's some lovely horses over here. Look at these guys. Look at them lot just chilling. Just enjoying a bit of grass. Can't really complain. And then we come over here. Bah! Painting. Whole lot of baby blue going on. Comment down below what other sort of videos you want to see. Obviously, I want to get the linear grill. I want to do a potentially a lip spoiler. Um, I want to potentially do the facelift boot. But yeah, comment down below what other video ideas you think I should do. Revol revolving around at least maybe the car or somewhere to go or something to do. And yeah, I'll give it a go. Right, do we paint the insides or leave them? Because look, you can see those Vs that I reckon will look quite cool painted like that. Like that there. We've painted it, but I think if you do the inside, it might be too much, although we've done all that, so can there really be such a thing as too much? Can this wind relax, please? Come on. <laughs> yeah, in person, you can see it a lot easier, but as you can see through the grills, the plastic stands out lovely. This isn't normally something I'd consider painting, to be fair, but it was only because Brad came up with it, because he saw, obviously, a lot of... It was a traditional BMW thing, because they'd have brace bars, I think it is, and people used to paint them because obviously you could see them, they'd appear through the grill and look really cool. So it wasn't, it's not something I've considered doing on the Sayat, but when I saw him painting his, I was like, that's such a good idea. Especially if you have the, the line grill, because then it really shows through them. I don't know how much through the honeycomb grill I'm going to get. Um, obviously I saw the preview and it was okay, but I want to get the linear grill, which has slightly bigger honeycomb holes. <laughs> so it should be a lot more visible through that. But even so, it's a nice little touch anyway, I think. Just to add, add a bit more colour to the car. I like that. Right, and that's the finished product. So we've got the plastic painted that will be behind the honeycomb. And we have the crash bar, both painted. I'm about to put the honeycomb grill on, just to give a final perspective of everything we've done. But I hope you've enjoyed this sort of nice, relaxed painting episode. Alright, there we go, grill's on, let's shut the bonnet. There we go. Yeah, you can't really see it on camera. Um, if you get close, you can sort of then see. So that's basically what we can see. <laughs> but for some reason on camera, because it's so dark, you just can't see in the honeycomb. But, I like that. It's a nice little touch. After about, what, 10 minutes? Five minutes per coat. Easy. Except you do get covered in paint, so I'm going to wash my hands when I get home. But yeah, a nice easy mod. Thank you for watching, thank you for Brad for the idea, and I'll catch you in the next one.